Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we're going to continue our series on spectacular synergies, this time focusing on another very broken combo, and that is a spread of rampant green, comboed with fractured days, comboed with any other spirit in the game. Now, how does this spirit work? Now, it's going to be centered around a single card, and that is Gift of Proliferation. And this is a one energy fast. It's a moon plant card. Targets another spirit. Now, target spirit adds one presence up to one of their presence. This card allows another spirit to accelerate along their tracks. So, I'm going to pretend I'm playing one of my favorite spirits in the game, Stone. And if I play Gift of Proliferation on Stone here, that means that Stone plays one of the presence off the track. So, that allows Stone to access its tracks and um, further grow such that it can reach a stronger potential earlier in the game. Now, let's talk about green's build. So first, let's actually, um, let's put these cards up here, and let's swap like that. Okay. So the build that I like doing with green to enable Gift of Proliferation is I'll choose this, G, this uh, G3 here, turn one, going from top track. I'll then gain a minor power here. Let's say these are on the board. I'm just putting them randomly. I don't know. I believe I start like this. Let's say I start like this. Um, so I'm going to choose that energy. Uh, I'm just going to grab like calls like just for the heck of it. And I'm going to play a card. A lot of times I'll play fields choked with growth on turn one. And then I'll on the following turn, I'll choose this um, G2. I'll place a presence here, plus place another presence. And then I'll be able to play three cards. Then we type pass, gain another energy, and then I'll play these three cards on turn two. So turn one, I choose my G3. On turn two, I choose my G2, and I'll have two plays plus um, an extra card play for my G2 option. Um, and if this is an opening that you want to learn more about, specifically for green, I do have a green strategy guide. Now, so what does Fractured do to this combo? Now, Fractured has this special rule called Fragments of Shattered Time. And it says that each presence on this ability represents one time. Many of your powers require time as an additional cost. Spend it as you resolve those powers. Whenever you gain time, you place the presence here on the spirit board. Whenever you spend time, it goes back to the tracks. Now the way that you gain time is with your G2 or your G3. And here it says you can gain one time twice, or you can gain three time, um, uh, up to you can gain one time up to three times. So if I were to choose this G3, and I chose this option here, I'd be able to gain one, two, three time, and that's how Fractured gains time. Now that's important because we use time for the slip, the flow of time, and this is a innate that Fractured has that breaks Fractured in half, and it's a fast power targeting any player. And it says you may use this power any number of times. The cost to use is one time per previous use this turn. So if this is the first time I use this innate, it costs me zero time. If it's the second time I use this innate, it will cost me one time. If it's the third time I use this innate, it will cost me two time. And you guys get the point. And the different thresholds on this innate, the first threshold says target spirit may resolve one slow power now. The second threshold says target spirit may reclaim one power card from discarded or played. And the final threshold says target spirit may play a power card by paying its cost. So this card, or this innate, allows you to allow another spirit to reclaim a card and then play a card. Now that's assuming you have the second and third thresholds. Now you guys can kind of see the combo, right? We have a very powerful proliferation effect. And now we have a spirit that allows us to proliferate multiple times in a single turn, which allows you to amplify whatever your third spirit is. Now, the build I like to use with Fractured, and this is, um, Fractured is such a dynamic spirit. There are so many different ways to play it. Um, but this is, um, if you're trying to min-max the combo, this is how I would approach it. So turn one, I would choose my G3 here. I would get one, two, three time. And then I would grab one of these cards. And a lot of times I'm looking for cards with my elements or cards that can impact the board. Um, 
really I'm, I'm not sure what I'd pick here. I'd probably grab maybe like gnawing root biters to maybe stop a build or um or call to bloodshed to stop a build ravage cycle. But I'd pick one of these cards. Let's just say I grab gnawing root biters here. And I'd probably play gnawing root biters. Okay, so then I'm entering turn two. That's my turn one. Now turn two, these are all on the board somewhere. Now turn two, I'm going to choose my G2 here. Doing a little memory game there. Okay, so uh, I choose G2. I can gain one of these power cards to my hand. We have favors, amazing. And we also have here that be monsters. I'm going to grab favors in hand. And I'm going to put monsters in my days. And I would then place a presence on the board. I would then gain a time. And then I'm going to choose this option to give me plus two plays. So I gained one time, and then the other, instead of gaining a second time, I'm going to gain extra card plays. So I'm going to have four card plays. I'm going to have that moon here. And let's put this presence on the board. Okay. So now I have four plays, and a lot of times you'll end up playing stasis, plus blur, plus the past returns. And technically I can also play favor here. Um... Well, I guess I, I don't have the energy to do that. Oh, no, I do. I would have four energy. So, yeah, I would, because this is the second turn. Let's just say I do this, and uh, I'm going to be maxing out my left innate, maxing out my right innate, and as I said earlier, every time we use that left innate, it's going to cost us a time. So now let's see we're playing our good friend Stone over here. In turn one, we placed a presence. Turn two, we placed a presence. And this is, um, let's say I played some random cards. Let's say I did these two on turn two. Well, now we have get to proliferation. So yeah, we're going to place another presence. And then green is going to take a slip here. Reclaiming gift of proliferation. And then paying an energy, play the card again. Well, now stone is going to take that gift of proliferation again. Oh, stone prolifs again. Well, but that's not enough. Why don't we do it again? So green will take a second prolif. Now that will cost a second time, or that will cost a single time to reclaim the card. And then green will play it again, paying its cost. Well, stone is definitely going to grab that prolif again. And now this is how it looks. And technically, if green had a little bit more energy here, um, we'd be able to proliferate one more time. Now, I guess if you don't play overgrow, you could do that extra play. Um, but now we've we've slipped prolif twice, and then um, likely fractured will use a time for stasis, and then maybe we'll use a time for blur to to um to repeat this effect. But as you can see, we're going into turn three, and stone is at six energy in four plays. Like this is insane. Like usually this is turn six is when you reach this. We're on turn three, and on turn four. We're going to have our max uh, right innate, which allows you to completely wipe out any land every turn. Um, now, I have stone here just as a placeholder. This could be any spirit in the game. Um, I mean, you could play um, Fangs or Keeper or any, any spirit, and you'd basically be maxing out their tracks, and you're going to be so far ahead. And here's the thing. I'm playing green. Like this, all this costs me two energy. Yeah, that sucks. It will make my next turn a little bit more difficult to pull off. But um, green is still like this is still like standard green build. Like even if you don't do the proliferate, all this does is or the um the mass um gift of proliferation spam. The only thing this costs me is two energy. Um, because you're going to be playing these three cards anyways. Um, now for fractured, it does cost a, a bunch of your time in the early game. So um, that could kind of set you back a little bit, but a lot of times um, the whole point of Fractured is trying to amplify the team. And you do have defensive tools with Absolute Stasis, and then in this case I drew a Defend um, to kind of deal with the board state. And then we're just banking on Stone to be able to completely dominate the game, and, and likely Stone would be able to do that at 6-4 starting on turn 3. Like, that's just insane. I hope you guys like this video. Um, this is a very powerful combo. Um, a lot of times, green plus fractured plus snake is one of the um, the big combos that beats six six comps. You want to make it even spicier. You add in earth, might earth, and I already talked about um, how might earth can do those repeats. And then now you use might earth to repeat gift of proliferation even more, and you can max out snake like very early on.
If you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I will see you guys in the next video.